Okay, so that does not sound secured in this arm here. So be careful when you pick that up because it'll slide out the end. gather up those tools 24 mil socket a 22 mil socket uh, your impact wrench and ratchet uh, you'll need a 14 millimeter socket 14 millimeter wrench and then I didn't have the corresponding metric wrenches that you would need the 22 and the 24 so I used a 7 8 and a 15 16 wrench and those work just fine so that's all you need to put this together now these are actually a little bit hard to get I had to check with three different stores to find one in stock but I finally found one that came in on today's truck comes in two boxes and you can haul it in a car uh, comes in two separate boxes but you better get some help loading that one because it's pretty heavy all right guys we get ready to put this thing together what i like to do is unbox everything and i lay out all the parts so that i can find what i need easily put my bolts kind of in size order so that I know where to find those. And actually in the manual of this one, it comes with a nice neat little chart here because there are singles of different lengths of bolts that go in different places. So if you wanna match them up and make sure you're using the right bolt in the right location, start there on page four and it tells you what size is which so that you can follow the instructions and go through. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this, this main plate, this triangle frame here and uh, we'll bolt the casters on it. Now, you have six casters and four of them are large and two are small. So be sure you follow the instructions and put the right ones in the right place. You're going to need a 14 millimeter wrench and socket to put the casters on. You're gonna need, for the biggest bolt, a 24 millimeter socket. And I actually, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't have a complete tool set hanging on my wall here. So I didn't have a metric 24 wrench, but I have a 15 16 which will fit the bolts for standard so we've got all our tools kind of laid out and ready to roll so let's get this thing put together and see how this goes so a large caster goes on this long beam in the back and the way you're going to do this is put your bolt through the bottom and reach inside with your lock washer and your nut Now we can do the other side. So you basically have to put that one on the end of your finger and keep this one close by. Fish it up onto the bolt and hold it in while you wiggle this one down there and hold it up against the bolt and then spin it from the top to tighten it down. So those large casters on the back are a nightmare to get on because you can't get your hand back inside the pipe to hold the, the lock washer and the nut onto the bolt. But I did finally get them. So now these front ones should be a piece of cake because you've got a cutaway right here where your legs fold up. So we'll put the small casters on right there. All right, now there is a clear discrepancy in the instructions and by looking at the pictures on here and the way that it describes the large and the small caster bolts. So I'm gonna make this simple for you. The large casters, use the large caster bolts that are a 14 millimeter hex head. The small casters, which you have two of here, are going to use the Phillips head bolts. And the reason for that is, if you look at how this is made, it is countersunk right here for this Phillips bolt to go down inside. That way when you fold up, or when you fold down your legs, they lay flat in the little valley here that's made for them. bolt on hand that fit so that worked out just right you saw that in real time all right on to the next
Okay, so that does not come secured in this arm here. So be careful when you pick that up because it'll slide out the end. By the way, I'll also say that the instructions say on every one of these big bolts to put a lock washer, washer, and a nut. But there were no big lock washers in this whole thing, just washers and nuts. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. If things start loosening up, I might have to go pick up some lock washers and change all these out. So. All right, guys, well, we got our engine hoist or our, our shop crane put together. Um, this is a one-ton deal, and we're getting ready to pull a motor that's like 300 pounds, so I got the boom extended all the way out, and I've got it ready to go, but I'm not going to do that work without my son here. In fact, I'm probably not going to be involved in it at all because I think he's off work tomorrow, so he'll probably have this one pulled and the other one set in by the time I get home from work. But I wanted to get the crane put together for him so he'd be ready to roll when he gets his time to work on it. Now, I'll tell you, putting this thing together was not without incident. As always, with a lot of the Harbor Freight tools, I mean, to me, you get a lot of bang for your buck, especially if you're not a professional using these tools and you're just gonna use them, you know, once every few months or whatever. This is the perfect shop crane for us. But, like I said, some of the instructions were unclear about which bolts to use where. They were mislabeled in the directions and it also told us to use lock washers that they didn't even give us. But, you know, all in all, it's a pretty simple job. It took me about an hour. And that's mainly because my sausage fingers wouldn't fit back inside those square tubes to hold the washer and the nut in place so I could tighten them down. But aside from that, really straightforward. Make sure you keep an eye on our content. We'll be putting this thing to use. Um, I'll give you an update on how this goes with the engine. If I can get him to film a little bit while I'm not home, I may even throw a little bit of that footage in here at the end. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe get you prepared to put together your own shop crane from Harbor Freight. Gather up those tools, 24 mil socket, a 22 mil socket, uh, your impact wrench and ratchet. Uh, you'll need a 14 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter wrench. And then I didn't have the corresponding metric wrenches that you would need, the 22 and the 24. So I used a 7 8 and a 15 16 wrench and those work just fine. So that's all you need to put this together. Super simple job. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good day.